have some fun to show you guys. So this is my gray Camaro that I built. Right here. Look what's finally out of the shop. <laughs> Woo, it's alive. It's alive and it's well. Much quieter now too. I don't think it's about to die though. Back it up. So I got this. Put this guy back up here. Anyway, I got this back yesterday, and I, 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 I wasn't gonna get it back the same time I got the gray one, and I drove it out of the like parking lot or off the, off down the street, and the pedals. I think I said this in my last video. The pedals are really. Really weird. People are outside checking out what they got. <laughs> Pedals are really weird, so I brought it back and they fixed it, and uh, she's pretty good now. So now I'm just gonna drive it, put some miles on it, see if anything comes up that needs to be taken care of. This one is, you probably hear it already, just from going from that guy to this one. This one is really nice now that I have the, the Hydro Boost braking system in here. It brakes like, like a modern car, versus that one that's a little squishy. So this thing's going to be set to be tuned here in a couple weeks by a professional, change the gearing ratio and things like that. This Camaro will put in here. Get the battery charger on it. I'm excited. I love having my cars back. I'm so glad. Like I'm, I'm kind of glad that Porsche came back with a terrible buy bid because just the the character of these 1969 Camaros is just you can't you can't go buy that like you can like a Porsche. Or, you know what I'm saying? As this gray one. This gray one, you know, it's got now it's got the hydro boost braking system, so it's it's very drivable now. Such a beast. Look at this thing. I did a real piss poor job washing it last night, but look at this thing. This thing needs to be cleaned bad and all that. Gross. Alright, so this one's basically done. They need to do a tune on it, but everything else is done. So then now we can just finally enjoy it, which is bittersweet. It's been like three years almost since I committed to it, and now I finally got it how I, how I want it. Almost. So let's check out this one. It's still, it's still burning off.
desperate need of a clean. better the more I drive it. I took it, I got it from Classics yesterday. <laughs> took it here, went and put some gas in it with my dad, some, some 93 octane so it's, uh, it's breathing a little bit better and just performing better overall. And even shutting it off just now was better than what it was when I first got it. Sweet. Look at this cowl. This is a sweet car. Ooh, I'm excited. Alright. Let me set this up here for a shift. Okay, so I got Pews behind me. He's gonna bring his Audi to get tinted. I'm gonna bring this thing to get retinted. And we're gonna have the ZR1 there today also to finish up. Hope they can hear me. Finish up the clear bra. This car is sweet. It's got so much torque. I'm in fourth gear right now. It turns off a lot better now too. So, all right, I'm at Jerdy's Solar Shield. We're gonna retint this film because I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see the like the bubbles and stuff right there. It's just it's just cheap quality film, so might as well redo it. Okay, all right, stay tuned. I'll film it afterwards. Okay, all right, I got everything wiped down. She's all dry and looking pretty. So I want to talk about just a recap as to what I've actually done to this to this Camaro since I bought it. So when I got it, it wouldn't start, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't idling right, there was, was a whole bunch of things wrong with it cosmetically also, including some just like some stuff I had to touch up for the paint. I, had, I showed you the trunk, we had to repaint the entire lip. There's some um, more paintwork underneath that we did. The drive shaft was, that should be in my video too, there should be two big giant leaking spots in the storage facility and we realized that the drive shaft was the wrong size and wasn't, wasn't working properly, it was actually really loose in there, so we got a custom QA1 custom carbon fiber drive shaft uh, made for it. We, completely whole new exhaust system, let me show you. So again, it was coming out of, for the headers basically, and we re-plumbed everything to where it comes underneath the rear end here, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. 
as well as it looks in person. But you get, since I'm down here, you can kind of see this too. See all this? That's all brand new metal. The QA1 suspension here is all brand new. The rear end is brand new. The brakes are brand new. We installed an e-brake. Oh, here's that carbon fiber drive shaft right there. Just look at this back end right here. This thing was definitely made for drag racing, and we made it a street, you know, a, a street-worthy vehicle. Actually, it's actually really comfortable. This got all ceramic coated, also the exhaust. Had some cosmetic changes over here, so now it's nice and clean looking. Try to do that again. Well, there's a couple chips here and there on the trunk. Like there's a little chip missing right here. We took care of. Again, today I just got it tinted, so that's a fresh tint. It looked terrible before. I don't say terrible, but you can tell it's kind of a cheaper tint and a kind of a poor job. Uh, what are we doing on the inside? We did, we, there was some leather repair I had to do on the inside. That looks flawless. Yeah, look at this interior. Just badass looking. I gotta clean this up still, actually. Not too much water came. You kind of see a little bit on the windshield. I don't know if it's gonna show up or not. Nice custom leather door panels. Stuff cleans up really nicely. Stuff like this. Show you how clean this. I don't, I, I'm just. It's a gamble right now, but I was able to. You don't want to. You don't want to polish matte paint, but you can certainly get a little aggressive with it in hopes that stuff like this simply just rub off. See, just like that. That's that's like 95% out. There. See, it looks good, huh? Yeah, you don't want to smoothen it by any means. But you can definitely make it look a lot nicer just by giving it a little bit of attention. So I did that all, all around off camera. The brakes, I know I talked about those already, but the brakes were a big thing that we had to change because they weren't they weren't very adequate for, in my opinion, for this much power. So you can see, let's see if it'll focus on that, maybe not. We got some big, I think they're 15.4 inch rotors with some six piston calipers from Willwood. We added these little panels here. They look just like the lizard, lizard skin on the back or the bed liner because there was nothing preventing the, the front wheels from, you know, you drive over a puddle, all that stuff's gonna come up and hit all the exposed electronics in there. We changed a couple bulbs, a couple bulbs were out. What else? That's basically it that I can think of. It doesn't sound like much, but it was, you know, it kept the shop busy for about three months and it significantly changed the driving experience on this car. I'm still not that happy with the gas pedal. It certainly is better than it was uh, like two days ago. And they, they changed it to where it doesn't, doesn't pivot. I, don't, I never liked the idea of that. It doesn't make any sense to me. You have to have your, your foot flat up against the pedal and it pivots with it. I don't know. It's still very, it's very loose to me. Like it doesn't take anything to depress it. I don't know if we can put more tension on there or what, but it'd be nice to figure out if we can. This is the leather repair that we did right here. It looks like we're gonna it's gonna come back. These are very solid seats. So what else? A couple of these weren't the fuel cell in the back, that was one thing we added too. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm just I keep thinking of stuff as I, you know, look at the fuel gauge. That was a five gallon. This thing was designed to go quarter mile down the road and back. And that's it. So we put a 20 gallon fuel cell. I think I mentioned we changed the rear end so it's no longer posi traction. It's like a modern car where you turn, you don't have chirping. Uh, added this e-brake. Other than that, this thing didn't need much. That's one reason probably why I went for so much at Bear Jacks because it wasn't quite turnkey, but it was, it was very close to it. Yeah, and then again, we did some cosmetic repairs. Just where we found them, and they were easy to do. New battery, things like that. All right, guys, well, hopefully that wasn't a boring video. I say that all the time. Hopefully you hopefully enjoyed that video. I'm gonna do some more here pretty soon. Should be moving into the new toy box. 
I'd say within the next week. I know I've said that for like a week now, but there's just still some delays. I got all the Obsessed Garage stuff in today, some more stuff coming tomorrow. So I'll get all that situated for there. Um, maybe I'll put that together this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. Spend a couple hours there. Get some cars ready to bring over there. So, all right guys, well, I'm gonna do some more stuff on this. Where did this thing came up? That was supposed to be Well, the there, I thought. Maybe not. Bend that back somehow. All right, sorry. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.